You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN. And now, TSPN's Amador This Week's Out and About. This local television coverage is proudly brought to you by Jackson Rancheria Casino Resort. And by Richard Forrester, Supervisor, District 2. And now, Amador This Week's Out and About on TSPN. The prevalence of diabetes, you know, has gone up. You know, it's kind of doubled our volume every Especially single with year. the epidemic uh, of obesity, I know it's very diet-related, and it seems to be an epidemic throughout the country and, and raising every year, rising every year. Right. But the best part about our outpatient diabetes education program is that everybody who comes through our program, we teach them the tools to manage their own diabetes, you know, working together with their physician, and the outcomes are phenomenal. In today's world, we don't have to have all the complications associated with diabetes that our parents and our grandparents had. Diabetes is truly manageable if you get the right education and you get the right tools. So. Um, we wanted today to, to be able to offer um, education and uh, connect um, our patients and uh, people in our community with uh, vendors who um, have great um, technology and new products and uh, new tools to help people with diabetes. Right, I know it's really hard to reverse, but it's really easy to manage with diet and exercise and different uh, programs that you have here. And, and getting on the right medication if needed. So, um, and again, we work um, together with the physician on that, um, working to teach people the tools to manage their own diabetes. So. That's incredible. We have a lot of booths here today and a lot of people that we're looking forward to speaking with. I know our viewers can learn a lot from just uh, each booth and each each group here, and uh, we really appreciate your coming Thank on. Thank you. And Thank you for being here. We really, really appreciate it. I hope you get a chance to, to look around and, and to talk to everybody. Cause, um, oh, we will. We're going to spend some time here. I think it's very important for our viewers to just learn more about you know, can they get tested while they're here? Oh, thank you for asking that. Yes, um, we offer a free lipid panel today. We know that diabetes and cardiovascular disease are really one. And so um, one of the risks, uh, or actually the greatest incident of mortality with patients with diabetes is the risk of a heart attack or a stroke. So we're doing a free um, lipid panel today. That's cholesterol, um, your good cholesterol, your bad cholesterol. And we're also doing free... Um, blood sugar testing today oh, too. So great. Well, we'll have to test our cameraman to make sure he's okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to have a test myself because I know I don't really know the symptoms and that much about diabetes. So we're looking forward to learning more about it. Are there are there particular symptoms that people should be looking for? You know, at certain certain points or ages. Uh, you know, um, I think generally what happens is that. We know that diabetes actually starts 10 years before you're really diagnosed with diabetes. Usually your blood pressure starts to go up, um, your, um, your triglycerides start to go up, your bad cholesterol, your good cholesterol kind of goes down. Those are what's called metabolic syndrome. And um, you know when you start to develop a few of those, um, that's generally you know, you should be also tested for, for blood sugar. There's a test that you can take that your physician will order. It's called a, a glycosylated hemoglobin A1C, and those are a three-month blood sugar test um, that will help you to determine, you know, over a three-month period of time um, whether you truly have diabetes also. So. Well, there's a lot to learn, obviously. Yeah. We're going to start working our way around and, and learning more about that. It's obviously very detailed, and I think there's a lot for our viewers to find out for well, today well, at the well, festival. Well, thank you for coming. Oh, I thanks, Kim. It. Very nice to have you. Thank you. I'm here with Beth, and it is Fitness Made Fun here in Jackson. And I understand that there is a place where you lead walks, physically lead the walks. It's a program that used to be on video format, but you've taken it one step further, and you're actually leading walks physically. Why don't you tell us about where you lead those walks, Beth, and um, where people can actually participate? Okay. Yes, it's an indoor walking program through the Leslie Sansone Walk at Home program. Um, she started out with DVDs and now she's been certifying walk leaders to go out in the community and lead classes. And you're one of those walk leaders, I'm assuming? I am. Um, I've been certified for about a year and a half, but I've been doing her program for almost 10 years. 
Yeah, do you walk uh, indoors? How do you do that? If it's at a center, it's an indoor walk, so you actually get people kind of doing all that walking on an indoor program? Exactly. Um, that's a really good question. It is indoors. It's a full body workout. We use weights. Um, for strength training, so we're using upper body, we're using our core, we're all while we're walking indoors. So, and um, it's basically four steps: we walk in place, we kick, we knee lift, and we sidestep. So we're getting all motion, all, all muscles in motion. Um, and right now we do two classes a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 5:15 at the Margaret Dalton Children's Center. Um, well, that's first a wonderful class. new facility. That's it's a great beautiful. place to uh, to do that. If people haven't been over there, it's as you go back toward DMV, as you go down uh, the one road before you come on the end of Broadway, yep. and that new uh, center, the Margaret Dalton Center, is just a great place to be. It's a great yep. place, a lot of parking, and easy to get in and out of. Exactly, air conditioned heating. Yeah, so yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, yeah, great. we're so oh, we're so thankful to have that. Yeah. Well, we wish you wish you really well over there. Yeah. Fitness made fun and. Uh, that's been really uh, informative about the way that that works, but you need to go by and learn a little bit more yourself and, and participate and also get some good coaching and, and what you can take from that, uh, I'm sure is going to be very valuable for our viewers. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thanks. Yes. Marilyn, how are you? Well, I'm just fine. How are you? I'm just fine, thanks. Now, Lifeline is a service, and we'll get to a little bit of that because I can see it around your, you, that you're wearing it around your neck, and you, you obviously are a participant in that program. And I know Lifeline is one of those services that uh, helps people if they fall or they need help or if there's a fire. Help is just a button away. Just a call, just a call away, which is really important. You push the button, and I would say, well, I've done it a number of times because I am a type 1 diabetic, and uh, I volunteer for them also. Uh, but uh, it, it's absolutely, I say, within 10 minutes, I've always had a whole crew there, <laughs> at least five fire engines and, and uh, they are very prompt. So as a type 1 diabetic you've had that most of your life, was it no, genetic? Uh, it's rather strange, I have it. Uh, I didn't become a type 1 diabetic till 1979 so it was a little easier for me because uh, uh, because I knew what I was doing, you know, and it's hard on the children, it really is and to keep everything even but uh, it was easier for me. The doctor stressed to me that uh, if I'm a diabetic I have to be my own doctor and do what I'm supposed to do. He says, I'll tell you what to do. I'll tell you what to eat and what to uh, uh, medication to take and what exercise, whatever you choose, but he said you're your own doctor. And you've been managing it for 30, 40 years. I certainly like. have, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, you, would, you would know exactly what the important things are and, and know what a good service like the Lifeline is. It's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. I, I could tell you all kinds of stories about how <laughs> Lifeline has helped people. It's, it's I'm sure. I, I've had a lot of older relatives. I grew up in San Francisco, and, oh, I, yeah. and my family was from North Beach, and yeah, we had a lot. They, our relatives, the Italian side of the family, lived to the <laughs> beyond, you know, in their 90s and 100s. So they took a lot of extra care, and they didn't really have a Lifeline service in those days. And, and it was it was really important that they networked and stayed in touch. But that's very hard for people, and you want to keep people in their homes living independently and absolutely so they don't have to be in, in, in some kind of uh, rest home or something Ac absolutely and, and keeping them in their homes is just important it was interesting because uh, uh, when my husband died and he died in 2005 that was the one thing he said I want you to promise me one thing that you'll get a, a button he didn't know what it was called at that time and of course we're right here in this county and we're the only you see ads all the time for these things where you mail in, but uh, Lifeline is right here in this county. We're here to help you. We install it. We explain it to you if you have any questions, and we also keep in touch with all of our people every month. That makes a big difference, knowing that it's a local resource and a service. You see these things on TV, but you really don't know, you know, if there's somebody at the other end that's going to help. Yeah, yeah, and they, you don't know if there's anybody at the other end. They well, that's wonderful to be able to tell our viewers uh, about Amador Lifeline. And I know our local board of supervisors has put together a program um, these RX, you know, pharmacy uh, cards that you can actually get a discount on your medications. Uh, it may not be uh, real substantial, but it, a little bit of a discount. And, 
if you have that card, how do people uh, get one of these cards that the supervisors have put together, that program? We, ju we just hand them out. They're, they're free. And uh, uh, they will. And if you have insurance, fine, get one of these too, because they will cover things that other insurance companies don't cover. So you just take right that. Easy. You take that card right into the pharmacy and just show them that card. And any pharmacy in Amador County, and they're going to give you a little bit of a discount because of that program. Absolutely, absolutely, and it's a really wonderful thing. Like the lady that works with me here, that was here a while ago, she. Uh, she saves over a hundred dollars a month with that card wow. and she has all kinds of other insurance right right well that's substantial and uh, i think everybody should know about that and how do they pick up the cards do they get those at amador lifeline or in different places different places around i think a lot of pharmacies have them too but we whenever we have any kind of business like this we will hand them out and, and we've handed can, out dozens can use of them. them. Any, anybody can use the card anybody can use the card in any place Great. Well, everybody should definitely, all of our viewers should definitely have one of these in their, in their, in their possession, and they can get a little bit of a discount. Thank you so much for uh, Marilyn for having us uh, join you here today at the oh, festival. So happy to do it. We Great. really are. We want everybody to know about Lifeline. Well, it's very nice to meet you personally too. Thank you. Thank you. And I noticed that we have Bodies and Balance, which is a brand new facility here in Jackson, located over near Safeway and Amador Ridge. And Bodies and Balance is a full coaching um, gym almost, but for people who don't like the regular gym, it's a little bit more of a personal life coaching type of facility where you go in with a one-on-one -on -one, uh, with Denise Shad, and I'll introduce you to her in a second, but um, this particular service is brand new uh, to Jackson and to Amador County. And it's just a little bit more of a one-on-one -on -one life it's a little bit more of a one-on-one -on -one life coaching situation, and I'd like to introduce you to Denise Shad. Denise, nice to have you, uh, nice to meet you here at the festival. I'm glad to see you here because you have a brand new uh, facility that I just mentioned uh -huh. over there near Safeway, and Bodies and Balance is a special place where you know doctors do refer patients over to you. I would imagine who need a little bit of additional coaching to see whether or not they need to go on a heavier medication or maybe. Uh, the balance of doing more fitness and more diet and more coaching could help, uh, you know, avoid that next step of going on heavier medications. Why don't you tell us just a little bit about, I, mean, I know it's an exciting new endeavor for you. I mean, you've been doing it for a long time in Amador County, and this, this new facility is amazing over there. The people really have to see it over there next to Safeway. Why don't you tell us a little bit about Bodies and Balance? Um, Bodies and Balance is a private personal training studio. All of our programs are individually designed to meet your needs, whether you are overweight or you just want to get get in shape. We have um, all certified um, instructors um, to meet those needs. Um, we do nutritional counseling. Along with our long-term goal clients, we usually use a tool with life coaching where we set a goal and we work from the future back to today to present, breaking it down into individual goals for each and every month of how to get to their ultimate goal, which is majority of the people have weight loss issues. It's really one-on-one -on -one scheduling goals and working with somebody you know who knows your particular situation, who you're comfortable with. Yes, yes. We um, all of our. Uh, appointments we're by appointment only um, we, all your workouts are designed especially for your needs and we you get one-on-one -on -one personalized attention you have your private room you're in a room with your trainer and you're guided by that person you just show up and do the work right I saw the private rooms those are amazing and, and people who haven't seen the back of the facility there's that beautiful vineyard in the back it's just a beautiful setting in there and, and nice and cool and the good airflow uh, very unlike a regular gym with a lot of people in it I mean it is a very comfortable environment I know that you have not only the life coaching and the one-on-one -on -one training uh, with with amazing equipment why don't you tell us a little bit about the equipment but I wanted to also mention that you have like yoga, belly dancing, I mean you have a whole team of certified individuals who really help people who are patients uh, like diabetes patients but you also provide you know a lot lot more. Why don't you tell us first about the equipment that you're using over there and how that's different at Bodies and Balance. We have all um, Cybex equipment and really we use your own body weight, we use a lot of suspension training, we use dumbbells. Um, it's all about educating you on how to work out so the equipment that we have is state of the art, um, but the equipment we don't have is you. You know, we need you to do the work. 
But you really put people on the right types of equipment. They're not just going from machine to machine. No, we do not have machines, so you are lear learning technique, form, um, using a variety of different tools on how to exercise. It's not just sitting you on a piece of machine and telling you to do leg extensions. You're, you're actually learning how to work out. Now, can I learn how to belly dance, too? I understand you have a belly dancer over there. I think belly dancing is a fun way to exercise. Oh, it's just fun. And um, we, we love Sonia Castillo is our um, belly dancing instructor, and she's passionate about what she does, and she's a great instu instructor. And she's there on Monday and Wednesdays. Tommy, that's our next thing to film. <laughs> yes, definitely. You check that out. We have yoga. Candace Sullivan is our yoga instructor. Um, Candace just got returned from a uh, uh, seminar and, um, on the East Coast. Uh, for Kapulu type of yoga. It's all about technique and breathing. Um, we've also just started a evening meditation class on Thursday evenings from 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock. Yeah, people may not realize, you know, the yoga classes there, there are a few different places where you can do yoga throughout the county, but this new facility that Denise has has a special room that is just, it's like a spiritually serene yoga studio within the within the facility itself I mean people really do have to see uh, that yoga room to believe it and I mean it's an amazing uh, you know you really need to be relaxed in order to get life coaching and to do that with a trainer you know you you have to get to that personal level of comfort and relaxation and that the facility that you put together is just amazing I mean it really is a relaxed serene place very different than a regular gym yes. One of the things that we pride our yoga class on is that we keep our yoga class relatively small so that you can in get individualized instruction with Candace. So um, our, the room was designed to, do, to create that, and Candace has been on my team for almost two years now, and um, I love her style of yoga. She's a great instructor. She also does one-on-one um, -on -one yoga instruction, private. Um, She's um, beginning a restoration um, yoga class on Fridays at uh, 10 o'clock, 10.15 in the morning. So for those of, of us that can't do strenuous yoga, restorative yoga is the way to go. Seniors, perfect. Um, the benefit of yoga and diabetes, relaxation, breathing techni techniques, um, building muscle strength just in poses. And um, those are the things that can benefit you. That's the most important, to get into that level of relaxation and things. Now, I understand your husband is, is certified with a number of different degrees, and he's also a part of the big program there. And what does your husband do exactly at Bodies and Balance? My husband is our life coach. He's a certified life coach. He's also an affiliate of Accomplishment Coaching, which is out of San Diego. Um, we are both in a year-long project. I'm in a leadership program. He's in the coaching program. He's already certified. And Rick does a lot of our um, goal setting and our long-term um, uh, lifestyle changing actually he handles a majority of that and he helps people move roadblocks out of their way so that they're able to move forward and accomplish the things that they would like to accomplish not only in their personal life their fitness life and their work life well, you really have quite a team going over there in terms of really full life coaching I can't wait to get over there I see that you may have already had your blood test I'm, I'm gonna go over and have that done myself right now because it's very important that uh, you know our viewers if, when you have a festival like this at the hospital they provide free testing which is a great service I'm gonna go over and have that and I plan on coming by bodies and balance and bringing my girls by to see the, the yoga situation as well I'm sure everybody all of our viewers will be very impressed with what they find over there at the new facility at bodies and balance with Denise go on by and uh, she's just a wonderful person a wonderful resource in our community to have. Thank you. Let's go over and talk with Donna, who provides a nutritional aspect of the diabetes factor, and that is one of the big things in terms of trying to get your diet and your fitness uh, under control, as, as Denise just mentioned. And Donna, why don't you tell us a little bit about concepts of optimal nutrition? Hi. Um, yes, I'm a certified nutritionist. Um, wanting to help people to make healthier food choices. Um, the foods that a lot of us are eating these days um, are from the standard American diet and I'm wanting to educate people more on you know eliminating sugars and refined flour products and trying to eat healthier 
fruits and vegetables. And right, I know the the big challenge with especially diabetes too, and you know, getting your carbohydrates exactly right, not getting too many, not having too little, and trying to get that balance of uh, especially carbs and and things. And how does that work? I know there are gluten-free foods. I mean, what are you? There's just so much to it. We're just trying to get an education here, and it's wonderful to have you here to, to represent uh, concepts in optimal nutrition, because I'm sure it's very, very important, and people can find out about uh, the services and the balance that they find in, in uh, nutrition uh, from the booth here. And I'll let you just be shy, and I know that the camera is not always uh, friendly. It makes people nervous and things, and, and it's usually a one-on-one -on -one situation that it's very helpful. So come by and see Donna and speak with her directly without the camera and the microphone, okay? <laughs> that's okay. I know you just went on the Optimist program and doing public speaking, and that's a challenge. It's a step, you know, forward and just stay with it. This was a good, this was a good first step for you. Even though you got nervous, don't, don't worry about it. Next time it'll be a, it'll, that much easier. It's baby steps forward. If I could say, I have learned that, you know, like I'm going to be make, providing some workshops at uh, Bodies and Balance, and hopefully through Amateur Chiropractic Wellness Center. Uh, trying to educate them also in nutrition. Um, and I've recently learned about mother load harvest uh, that we have in our community here that offers um, boxes, what they call CSA boxes, uh, community supported agriculture, so where they can get healthy organic produce uh, grown locally from all the local farmers. And I just think that's a real ass great. Fruits and vegetables really help to heal our bodies. Absolutely. And look at all those things you just thought of to say. I draw a blank all the time, especially when, when talking and trying to do the microphone thing. You just Your mind just goes blank sometimes. And obviously you're the perfect person one-on-one -on -one for people to come and um, speak with and learn more about your nutrition and your body. Thank you so much, Donna, for coming on with the camera. Thank you. Okay, we've made our way over to the New York Fitness booth, and New York Fitness is my gym here in Jackson, and uh, my girls and I, we, we work out there and swim all the time, and uh, this particular festival just makes you want to go over there and get on the treadmill right away. <laughs> There's so many different uh, things with diet and exercise, uh, you know, that are related. And we have Regina here from New York Fitness, and she's uh, informing people on some exercise equipment and different training equipment. And there, there are a number of different services over at New York Fitness. It really is uh, a healthy lifestyle to, you know, be involved over there. They do a lot of fitness and nutrition, and they have a wonderful staff and, and uh, just great people, local, local, local place to work out. And we'll just say hello to uh, Regina here and just introduce ourselves. Regina, hi. Nice to have you here at the Thank festival. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Great. I know you're over at New York Fitness doing a great job. We have a great staff over there. That's, that's my health club, and, and uh, my whole family works out there. We've been doing that for many years, and, and we just uh, love New York Fitness. And uh, I know you've got a whole bunch of things here that you're helping people with, with the Diabetes Festival and um, a lot of brochures and information. And there's just a lot over at New York Fitness, but they need to get over there and actually see what's going on. Absolutely. Uh, they can come in to the desk, and any of us, um, our staff is well-knowledged of helping anybody out, um, putting on a, a regiment. Um, we have exercise referral forms as well um, that could help someone come in um, uh, if they have uh, any type of uh, diabetes or any other health issues. Um, they take it to their physician, and um, it will bring them in at a discount, and they can lock that in for a year. Oh, great. So they get a discount if you have diabetes and you any other health issues, um, they take it to their physician and um, it will bring them in at a discount and they can lock that in for a year. Oh great, so they get a discount. If you have diabetes and you bring a form to your physician, then you can just take it in the New York Fitness and actually get a discount on your membership. Uh, that's incredible. Everybody should be aware of that and I appreciate that. Yes. All right, thank you. Thanks. Well, we're over here with Gail at the most beautiful booth, I think, Quality In-Home Care Specialists, and they're, they're here in the area. They have a uh, wonderful service. Gail, very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Thanks for being here at the festival. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what people can learn um, here at your booth? Um, we're Quality In-Home Care. We provide an in-home care service to all the seniors in the county and also in Calaveras County. Uh, we've been in business 22 years. And we're very proud to service the seniors in the area. 
Well, it sounds like you have a very extensive service, you know, with in-home care. You know, I know there's a lot to that, and I, you know, it's it's a thing where you specialize in different aspects of, you know, their daily care. Why don't you tell us a little bit how how you're different with other services uh, in the area? Well, we like to be responded to our seniors. We like to uh, think that we have an immediate response to any need. Nobody knows what tomorrow is going to bring. Uh, it only takes one doctor's appointment to realize that you might need some extra help, and we want to be there as soon as that need is, is met. It's amazing where we find ourselves in life at any age, and it's great to know that there's a resource there. Right. We do do quite a bit of work with hospice care and support to caregivers and families during end-of-life care also. Hospice is really special. You know, in our county we have a, a great program and, and we really appreciate your being here in Amador County and, and being such a great resource for our viewers. You're welcome. Thank you. This is Living Well with Diabetes. It's a free style, freedom line testing kit. And we're just watching a little demonstration of the kit and how easy it is to use. That's pretty good. <laughs> And now she's uh, thinking. She's thinking about testing herself, which is always a challenge. And, and it, as you can see, that it takes a lot of uh, thought. And, and we'll see how easy this is. Good job. She just inserted the tap into this freestyle freedom line piece of equipment. Press on that button. There you go. Take it out. And now gently squeeze that area to get the blood out. So that just uh, did a little prick on her finger, and that's all she needed to do with it. Now you touch the blood. Get that. Leave that in there. Leave that in there? Oh, here. You pick it up. Yep. And then that's the finger. Okay, that there's the finger. And you want to touch it on the black dot. She's putting a little piece of the blood onto the black line, and the machine beeps, and she did it. You did it. This Whoa, is your first 136. Time. That's perfect. You did it. This is your first time. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. How easy was that? Bad. 136, because I just had. Uh, you just ate? Uh -huh. That is perfect. You want your blood sugars after you eat, two hours after two you hours. eat? Two hours. I got to remember that, two you hours. You want it to be below 140. 140, okay. Well, you can see how complicated it is, but made simple with a piece of equipment. See how nervous Donna is. <laughs> She's over here actually being tested. She wasn't as nervous as she thought. She's been able to do everything here at the festival that everybody else needs to do to come down and have everything tested. And if Donna can do it, anybody can do it, that's for sure. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come over and actually get tested myself because I know, I know Patty Adams would love to stick a needle in me. <laughs> How are you, Patty? I'm fine. Good. Very nice to see you here at the festival. That's Thank a surprise. You. Thank you. Um, we have been working our way through all the different booths, and we've been learning a little bit about nutrition and how uh, diabetes level 2, uh, type 2, is managed with diet and nutrition. But uh, the most important thing is if people have any doubt at all that they should come down and get tested. Can I actually have my blood tested? How easy is that? It's, it's well, over there. I start over at the uh, booth on the side. Blood sugars. Mm -hmm. And what we're testing is uh, cholesterol and lipids. Oh, can I is test that with you? Because that's the most important thing for me is my different types of cholesterol. cholesterol. Yes. You, all you have to do is go out to the front lobby mm -hmm. and you get paperwork filled out so that we can mail the results to you. Great. And it's free to the community. So. Oh, great. Well, I'm going to go fill out that paperwork and I'm going to be right back to see you. Looking forward <laughs> to it. <laughs> well, I'm over here. I just filled out my name and address on one form and a self-addressed mailing envelope. I'm with Shania. Hi. Um, hi, Shania. <laughs> and this is how easy it is for people to get their, um, I'm going to have my cholesterol checked. And uh, all I had to do was fill out one form with my mailing address. It's just that easy. And then I'm going to be shown over and uh, to exactly where I need to go. Exactly. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> that couldn't be easier than that. Nope. We encourage all of our viewers to get on down here when these festivals take place to the Sutter Amador Hospital because it really is a, um, a great resource to have in our community and so easy to do. I'm Mike with TSPN, so go easy on me now. I'm not, a, I'm not your normal high Connie. Have you eaten breakfast this morning? No, I haven't. I just had a muffin on the way over to fill out the form, but it was a little Just tiny one. Just in, huh? 
Okay. Are you a diabetic? I am not, no. Okay. So, normally before breakfast we would expect your blood sugar to be below 100, but since you just had a muffin, we might see a little bump. Well, it was only a little teeny weeny bump. So it might be a little teeny bump. So I'm, I need a finger. Okay. And if we use the side of your finger, it actually hurts a little bit less. Okay. And I just need a tiny drop of blood. Maybe not quite that tiny. Okay. And this tests very quickly. I'll let you hold on to that for just a minute. Okay. That was pretty easy. Now I came out at 102. Does that? Uh, so 102, if you're below 100 without having eaten, that's normal. 102, you just had a muffin, so you just have some blood sugar starting to circulate. So that's still probably normal. Good. Okay. Well, that's good to hear. You Thank you so much. Job. Uh, you're thanks. very welcome. That was easy. That's good to know. Now we're going over. Uh, yeah, I'm going to wait for uh, Pat. She's in the middle. I should be uh, here with Randy. I should probably do that. Yeah, Randy's going to take care of me. Hi, Mike. Hi, Randy. How are you? Great, thank you. Okay, so we're going to draw your blood. Okay. Give me just a second here to finish this uh, envelope. That sounds a little more complicated than the last uh, table where they just took a little tiny little speck there. This is, this is you're going to draw a little bit. Probably not more complicated for you, but it's... Uh, oh, do people um, get a little conscious of that when you draw blood? There's always, uh, you know, some sort of apprehension, and right. Randy looks like he's done this for quite a while. This isn't the first time he's done it, so I feel like I'm in good hands. No, not the first time I've done it. So, uh, your last name, Mike? It's Spence. C-E-N-C-E. -E. -E. Correct. Okay. And then um, we're going to take a look at your veins, see what we have to work with. This particular arm? Nope. Any arm is fine. We'll, stay, we'll start with this one, take a look and see what we have. It's going to be a little tight there for a second. All right, going to have you make a little fist, open and close, open and close, great job. So we're going to draw, draw you with what we call a butterfly, which is a very small needle. And uh, get your specimen from that. Well, if I can do this, Randy, anybody can. I'm a I've always had an aversion to needles and things, but it's a necessary thing for people to uh, be able to do. Because it's an important thing to do to catch early and to know uh, all of your blood counts and sugar counts. And if there's something that you need to, uh, to know at any age, it, 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 the sooner you find out and you start managing your, uh, your nutrition and um, exercise, the better it is. Wow, that wasn't as uh, wasn't as complicated as I thought. That's an easy little process. You didn't distract me or anything like that. You just went right in there and did that, and there was no problem at all. And painless. Do I hold on to that a while? Yes. Okay. Pressure there for a second. You got it. Your blood. We're going to be sending the results to the address that you provided for us. Um, and do you have any questions? No, that was relatively simple, uh, great process, and important to do. Okay. I'm just going to put a little bit of pressure on this. I'd like you to leave this on for about 30 minutes. You got it. Great, Randy. Thanks so much. You're doing a great service here. I appreciate okay. it. Materials and gluten free, sugar free cookies, and all sorts of different items. Obviously, this looks like sugar free uh, syrup for your pancakes in the morning. I know I'd have to use about six of these, but they are sugar-free, and they look like they're pretty good. It doesn't uh, buy the packaging. And then, obviously, the sugar-free cookies and different types of products are important. 
And I always go up to uh, Pine Grove Market. Um, Fred Claypool up there at Pine Grove Market really specializes in providing a lot of different, you know, alternative organic foods and gluten-free foods. And in the frozen section, you know, there are things that uh, are substitutes for, you know, chicken nuggets and things for the kids and that aren't real chicken, you know, soy products and, and different types of things. But, you know, as you become more and more uh, conscious of having to look at labels, on all of these food products, you know, it's nice to know that the Pine Grove Market and places like that specialize in providing, you know, quite a quite a selection of different products like this, and and that's a great source. Uh, and I know that there are um, places like over at New York Fitness that that I believe it's called Levita, where they package your food and they actually put um, your food into bags for you that you come and, and pick up. You know, your meals are all preset and. And, uh, you know, you get on a particular diet with certain types of meals, and they put together some great uh, optional meals with the right types of food and the right balance. And, uh, you know, you get on a particular diet with certain types of meals, and they put together some great uh, optional meals with the right types of food and the right balances. And, again, trying to get those carb carbohydrates uh, exactly right and all the sugars exactly right is, is a real challenge for a lot of people. And our viewers should know about different services uh, again, you know, Pine Grove Market has a lot of different uh, options and selections of, of alternative uh, organic and healthy foods. And, and also, uh, Levitro over there at New York Fitness does a wonderful job of packaging the foods. And, you know, you can just go in and get your lunch and dinner and, all, you know, all put together. And you know that it's been done by an expert and, and uh, you know, someone who can really help you out and, and manage things properly. It's all about management. And, and we have a lot of resources here in the county who uh, are just so helpful with uh, the different, you know, the challenge that people have if they have diabetes one or two. You know, now that I know that I, my blood sugar is only a 102, I'm going to have just a couple more of these um, these muffins here. These were just delicious. And uh, see what else there is down here, too. Maybe some orange juice to go with it. <laughs> it's good to know where your blood counts are. And so you can be confident in what you eat, and you don't have to worry, and, and you know that you're managing uh, your diet properly. Hi, I'm here with Richard Jones, and uh, we, Richard had a question for me. He had just seen a, a program, and he was wondering uh, what it was. It was a, a, a classic gold. Uh, it was a cable station. Way to mention Yule Hauser and Classic Gold while I have a muffin in my mouth and I don't have a lot to say. I love Yule Hauser. California's Classics. California's Classics. And yeah. There is a, is a channel, and I know that you mentioned it, that plays nothing but the old movies. Boy, these muffins are gluten-free, but they're, they're really <laughs> chewy. Uh, but it plays nothing but the old classic movies and programs. And I love to watch Rifleman yeah. and you know Gunsmoke. I'm a big Gunsmoke fan. I came back. I came back from. Uh, I was brought in from my uh, service provider here, you know, uh, Jeanette Davis, and mm -hmm. she wanted me to come here because uh, I was uh, lately from Kaiser Hospital. I was just. Uh, uh, I've j I'm on the edge of being diabetic. Uh, almost, almost level two diabetes. Yes, uh, type two, and uh, mm -hmm. so I'm trying to basically I'm trying to find out how to keep it down. They said I need lifestyle change, mm -hmm. exercise and diet. I'm sure are very important. Well, uh, farmer farming is a very hard thing to do, you know, and it's very hard because when you're a farmer, you don't run around and you know you you don't have the time to walk. 30 minutes each day, you know, like, because you got to get out there, you got to feed animals and everything, stuff like that, you know, and and it sort of is a sort of a tough thing to do, you know. Well, I get a lot of exercise when I go down and feed the horses and I muck those stalls every oh, yeah. day. You know, well, you're, I if do. you're farming, you're out there getting yeah, uh, pretty good I, But I drive a gator. Oh, okay, so you're sitting um, down on the gator. The knows that I have a gator because <laughs> uh, uh, I think uh, one, the gal that uh, came out uh, to Oak Old Nubians, she was out there, and she was uh, out there, uh, and I was parked in just uh, getting out of the way of the, of the golf cart with the camera on it, you know, and, mm -hmm. and uh, I was, uh, but that's how I feed uh, that way, you know. Yeah, well, Other you've got a t-shirt with a tractor on the front of it and oh, a yeah, John Deere hat. Oh, so. yeah, my mother just buys a whole bunch of John Richard, Deere Richard, you, you need to get out of that seat and get out there walking more when you do more of that farming. Instead of just sitting down, you need to be as active as you possibly can. <laughs> 
Yeah, well, <laughs> well, you see, a long time ago, you see, my sister got me started. I basically, I was a long time ago, I was in, I still am into music, you know. Uh, you know I started in country western, and I started into uh, gospel, and now I'm into gospel, and now I'm in more into, uh, 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 what is it, uh, uh, well, I'm, you need to be getting into mountain climbing. This uh, the, the well, music I, thing I, sounds very I, sedate I, I, and very I, relaxed. Well, and no, Celtic music is oh, not. Oh yeah, yeah, that's actually dancing around a little more. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You need to just stay as active as you possibly can with your lifestyle. Well, uh, basically, I do ride the bikes, but I have been off it because you can't just uh, jump right into it. You've got to start ease yeah, do up. Do it there. little by little. Yeah. Do everything you can. I'm sure your diet. You'll be able to get that under control oh, and start yeah. managing. Well, the situation I, before you have to get I, on some sort of medications. You know? Well, yeah, well, my doctor's saying I need a lifestyle change. I don't know how to do that. Start listening to your doctor. That's oh, my, yeah. my advice. They have a wonderful oh, yeah. way of knowing, you know, with all these tests and things these oh, days. Yeah. They know exactly where you are, and they're oh, giving yeah. you good advice. And I wish yeah. you well with your uh, management of that. Okay, thank you. All right, very nice to meet you, Richard. Good luck with the right. station. Yeah, and get out there and keep farming. I okay, will. Thanks. Well, that's it for this year's uh, Diabetes Festival. I want to thank our viewers for watching. It was informative to learn more about our lifestyle and what we can do with diet and exercise, and also the resource that Sutter Amador Hospital provides. Uh, it's just great to have festivals like these, and we're just happy to participate. And uh, again, thank you very much for viewing. Stay tuned for more TSPN TV programming. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN. Amador This Week's Out and About has been proudly brought to you by Jackson Rancheria Casino Resort. And by Richard Forrester, Supervisor, District 2.